Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Tactical Expedition. It's been a long time since I uploaded anything Forerunner related. This is for the bad news. My uh, Wii Booster antenna mount actually broke right here. So over time, due to the road vibration, this uh, metal piece broke off. It's an actual Wii Booster antenna for uh, semi-trucks. The lug or something broke and fell out. Originally it was like this, and a lot of viewers uh, told me that this antenna should be on top of the, the roof rack. The antenna should be the tallest item on my car, so it gets a 360 degrees of view, so it, it receives the signal. I bought a mount that goes on top of the Prinsu 3 4 rack, Max tracks and uh, Rotopax and my uh, equipped one awning. Today, I'll be attempting to install the Rhino antenna mount rack that goes on top of the roof rack that folds flat. So this is what I bought. Rhino rack folding aerial bracket. That's the mount. It's pretty hefty, it's pretty big. And it's heavy too. And it comes with the mounting kits. That's the handle to control. Loosen this one side. It's actually come out. When you pull this out, there's a spring tension. You can move all this different directions. So you can set up this antenna any way you want. Straight up, 90 degrees, or you can go to the other side and nice logo. It's it, This wasn't cheap, but uh, you know, I'm not looking for cheap products. I'm just looking for quality products that last five, 10 years. Wow, it's really tough to take that out. Wow. Okay, it's out. I put a washer there. So there's two different type of uh, Loctite. This is a permanent one, high strength, and this is a removable. Okay, so, so far, I had to come out here. Also, I forgot to mention, when my rear hatch is open, this antenna has to clear without damaging it. I forgot. So that is my maximum area. So I might have to, instead of this rail, I might have to install on the other rail or actually use the Prinsu Universal mounting rack. My God, it's getting more complicated. <laughs> I could watch, you know, Invasion or Squid Games or something like that right now on, on TV. Anyways, <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> okay, so far I put one. My God, this is so frustrating. You gotta put the, the metal bar underneath. Oh man, I, my hand is all scraped and it's so hard to tighten it and match that hole. Do you see that? Hole is right there. Oh my God, this took me an hour just to put one. I know it'll be easier to take this out, but uh, that's too much work. Uh, anyways, oh my God, I did it. Sitting up here, my legs all crossed. Oh, it's, it's, it's painful. You pull that, now you can, I can adjust it to any angle like this. So now it, it is up, but I gotta be careful because I can't drive like this. It will hit and break that mount. Okay, so when it's up, it's gonna have a great reception. I should have done this a long time ago, but because of my laziness, uh, I mounted it down here. Um, but I like it. Uh, the mount itself, it's such a high quality that uh, I have no complaints. And how it moves around, it's awesome. So. Right now it's up, but I don't need that much signal at this moment. To do is pull this and then lower it back down to the original level. That's it. That easy. So it's not gonna go anywhere. It's locked. So it really is not gonna move because uh, the screw actually comes and locks onto this. So thank you for viewing my video. See you on the next one.